The other day, I eavesdropped into a conversation between Ukali Kuala and Wally Wombat. So it went like this. Hey Wally, what's up bro? Ah, uh, nothing. Nothing? You don't seem very happy. Not really, you know, lockdown, travel restrictions, wild weather. No, I'm definitely not at my happiest. But, but, it's nearly July. So, what about July? Comes after June. Half the year is gone. What's so special? Don't you remember? Every July we celebrate Plastic Free July. And that's when it struck me. Yes, indeed. It's nearly July and like every year, this year too, we at Dida and Learn with Samita will celebrate Plastic Free July. Are you joining us? Plastic Free July begins at the supermarket. Walk fast, the roll of plastic, put your fruits and veggies directly into the mesh and produce bags. These reusable bags keep your veggies fresh and toxin free. My shopping trolley has no plastic bags whatsoever. Park your farmer's market bag at the checkout. This market bag has pockets and is specially useful for fragile items like eggs. Put your fragile items in the pockets. This market bag is made out of canvas and has very sturdy straps. Thank you Bulwurts Patterson Lakes Melbourne for this particular snippet. So we are back from the supermarket. It was nice and sunny outside today, thankfully, but still a little nippy. And I'll treat myself now to a hot cuppa, you know, a cup of tea. And I like my tea to be fragrant. So what I do is I take a piece of cinnamon and cardamom and give it a nice mash in my pugging pot. Pugging pot or mortar and pestle. You know what it does? It releases the aroma or the fragrance. Now today it's cardamom and cinnamon, both of which would have medicinal properties. But for instance, if you are a little sniffly, you can just take a piece of ginger and crush it in the mortar and pestle. So you can put everything, you can put your cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, or it can be just ginger. And give it a nice hard smash. And look at this. It's a nice paste and you can put it in your tea or you can put it in your 
Indian cuisine or if you are doing Asian cuisine, uh, smashed ginger is very handy to have. So I normally would use a pugging pot and I wouldn't use um, let's say a mandolin slicer because I always end up chopping a little bit of my finger so I'm very clumsy you know so it's always safe to use a pugging pot and then if you are like me if you are working from home and most of us many of us are working from home these days so you can use these little beauties you know the tiffins the traditional classic tiffins uh, to store your snacks your condiments your packed lunches you can use them for meal prep and I use my spice box all the time just for my spices my herbs and also nuts I'm a very nutty person so and you would say why steel why not anything else because steel is non-toxic it is biodegradable and take my word it stays with you for years it's extremely long lasting you wouldn't believe this but I'm still using my mother's utensils so my vote definitely goes to stainless steel So earlier I used to talk about the three R's reduce reuse recycle but today I am giving you a different mantra incorporate as many R's as possible in your lifestyle first refuse say no to things like single-use plastics or mac fashion and fast fashion secondly reuse Try to use everything that you can lay your hands upon, for instance, the gift bags. So if you get gift bags and gift papers, for instance, gift wrapping papers, try and reuse them. Recycle. Take your single-use plastic bottles to, I mean, willy-nilly we end up with a few of these, like it or not. So take this to a recycling center or a recycle bin. And people like us, you know, we would use these plastic bottles to make stuffing for our eco warrior toys. And also um, as recycled polyester fabric. So that's recycle. And then you are reusing, of course, and then re reducing. So reducing consumption is also important. I would mention that you, you use your dollars wisely. So you know spend on big ticket items maybe spend on um, a quality blazer or a pair of well-cut trousers and you can still be on trend you can upgrade your wardrobe every season just by buying a few trendy accessories you know spend small amounts of money on accessories like scarves and bags and coordinate them wear them with the investment pieces in your wardrobe and make do and mend so you do not have to throw away everything maybe a shirt or a blouse that misses a button so if if it requires a little bit of repair just learn to do it you know learn a little bit of crochet or knitting um, or mending sewing from your grandmother or whoever is around so if you want to learn more about make do and mend touch base with Dida or touch base with your nan or whoever might have seen the great wars so, so we've all heard about deforestation but what about reforestation why not grow your own herbs and veggies so you see my lemon tree here so it's grown right from the scratch and see how prolific it is after my presentations some of you would come up to me and say, Samita, I'm just a single person, just an individual. How would it make a difference to the world if I embrace sustainable practices or if I continue to use plastics? You know what? Every little thing matters. You cannot revolutionize the world overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day. But take baby steps even if it's using scarves you know practicing the art of furoshiki for wrapping your gifts 
saying no to commercial gift wrapping paper use scarves or fabrics which can be used recycled reused later so let us join hands in our battle against plastic if you are liking our videos do not forget to give us a thumbs up your likes comments shares and subscriptions motivate us to do better and if you would like us to cover a particular topic mention in the comments below and we would try to address your request pronto till then this is samita signing off bye for now